Well, he was a national commentator with our Local 12 team until he went off the air recently due to a brain tumor. Tonight, medical reporter Liz Bonus goes behind the headlines with Mark Hyman with an important reminder for all of us. Hello, I'm Mark Hyman. Effective immediately, I'm stepping down from all on-air duties. It was a brave admission. I'm stepping down because I have a brain tumor. From a guy known for his courageous statements. But when I sat down behind the headlines with Mark Hyman at his home Sinclair office in Baltimore, his statements were a little harder to put into words. Well, we all have those moments we think about things like walking daughters down the aisle. It seems kind of cliche, but it's true. I never thought about that before. And then I thought, wow, I will not walk a daughter down the aisle. What started with a few changes that looked like this. I was having vision problems because I was tired, I was distracted. Eventually led to the diagnosis of a brain tumor that looked like this. These tumors can get very large, sometimes even the size of an orange before we find it and realize that the patient has the problem. Dr. Vincent DiNapoli is a neurosurgeon who specializes in neuro-oncology and skull-based tumors. He did not treat Mark, but says in addition to vision changes. The most common presenting symptom for a large brain tumor or something that's causing swelling in the brain can be seizure, can be really bad headaches, um, especially headaches in somebody that has not had headaches before. The day I was diagnosed and the doctor sat me down and said, I strongly encourage you to get your personal affairs in order. This is not going to end well for you. So Mark continued to work and get his personal affairs in order, including telling his close co-workers the unthinkable. Yeah, it was scary. It's definitely a family here. I was shocked. Several weeks later, Mark was in surgery. And then for 10 days, he waited for the diagnostic results. So it was good news. That good news? Mark's tumor turned out not to be cancer. Mark has spent the last few months healing. Some of the rest who've been rallying behind him have been healing too. We're here for you, we're pulling for you, and uh, obviously praying for the best outcome. As for what his behind the headlines message is now? I was ignoring what were clear warning signs in order to do the job. And professionally, do you feel like there's a level of understanding of just some things you have now um, that this forced you to think about? Well, I'm glad that we're doing this live and not doing a story posthumously. I think he'll always know the value that if I can make a difference, and, it's, and that's what he wants to do. He just wants to make a difference. He can really help others with telling his story and making sure that people hopefully you know, take care of themselves first uh, and understand the value of life. Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. Mark Hyman is expected to return to the air sometime after the first of the year.